Hey guys, it's Skier, and today I'm releasing the Levelhead 4.0 mod. Yeah, so the biggest thing, well, not the biggest thing, but one of the things you can see right off the bat here is there's a thing where you can see your own level. Yeah, so you have the standard toggle it on and off. Everyone knows how to use that. It's a simple click, but you also have the show self button, which will make it so that when you're in F5 or in your inventory, it will, in fact, show yourself. Now, this might look slow and be bad because I'm on my laptop, but just bear with me here because I'm doing this for you guys, so I wanted to get this out before I came home. So that's in about a week from now. So you have the modes, classic, standard thing where you can rotate the size. You can rotate the color, sorry. It's looking at something else, but you go. It'll update for everyone. It won't update for me because I have a custom level head message, which, by the way, everyone should go by um, in the description, skio.com slash custom level head. Coming soon is the server side support to add complete color overriding. Right now it's based off what the client has, but I added integrations that the server can completely decide how it looks like for people. Now the next mode you have is RGB. This is the new one. With this new RGB mode, you can set it to be whatever you want. By default, I think it's white for everything, but you can adjust the slider. So here I have adjusted it to be orange, but you can vary how much orange this is. So you can make it more of a pure red here, uh, or you can make it less of a pink, but I kind of like how it's red and pink because there's an, those specific colors in Minecraft. Like the actual color codes are very limited, but you can make these do whatever you want. Now, these other options here, you could set the thing, which is the same as before, set to IQ, because you know we're all 9,000 IQ gamers. I mean, I'm a 1337 IQ. I don't know about you guys, you're probably under 250. But next thing you can do is you can also just set it to chroma. So this is the same as before, where it's just straight up chroma. Because you know, everyone loves chroma, and it's not a skier mod unless it has some sort of chroma. Now, the next thing you could do is you can set the display distance. So if I set this to six, only people within six blocks of me are actually going to have it. This is very useful for a lot of people who don't want to see it always, but only want to see, like, when they get closer, they're going to melee the dude or what's going on. That's that. You can set it to 64. You can try screwing with the config and set it higher than 64. You're not going to be able to see people from further. That's just not uh, possible because I have code limitations on the inside. And there's also this thing called cache size. This is the amount of players that will keep loaded before it starts to delete them. So what that means is when it loads levels from my website, like on all the messages and everything, it keeps them loaded so that they're ready to use every time the player needs to render their screen so it can just kind of add them. But for people with low RAM computers, like people like Endgate, one of my killed mates who only has four gigs of RAM, having a lot of people loaded, which the def old default on 3.1 was a thousand, that can use a lot of RAM for him. And he doesn't really have that much RAM. And if he could save five megabytes just by doing that, that could mean a lot to him. So at this slash level head, you can change the cache size. So lowering the cache size will reduce the RAM usage, but it'll also mean that if you sw switch lobbies and then it loads players and then you come back, there's a high chance it's not gonna instantly have these ready. So on most computers, something like a thousand is gonna be more than okay. But if you have just have a lot of RAM, like you have a 16 gig RAM PC and you have a lot allocated to Minecraft, you can just slide that way up and then players will pretty much always be loaded so that if you switch to like Skybro's Lobby 1 and then go play a game and then come back, everyone in Skybro's Lobby 1 that was there before will already be loaded. So that's just the gist of the mod. If you have any bugs, send them to me on Twitter. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I just need to now talk to myself about how you should click on the videos that are up here and download the mod. Because, you know, it's fantastic. All right, I think it's almost 20 seconds. I don't have my outro on my laptop. Bye.